Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another One Sig Scale Ace Toys Power Rangers unboxing and review. Now finally he's here, none other than the Green Ranger himself, based of course off his appearance in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now if you haven't already, go ahead and check out all of the individual Power Rangers unboxing and review videos that are already live on the channel. Why not hit that subscribe and bell notification icon so you're notified as soon as brand new Hot Toys or third party or of course Power Rangers content goes live on the channel. Either way, what we're going to do now is get the box lying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. And here we have the box art for, of course, the Green Ranger, aka Green Hero, part of the classic Mighty Superhero line, of course, this being number six. Now, the box art is pretty much identical to all of the other Rangers. As you can see, diamonds on the front and the sides with the nice sort of green motif in the background. Now, you can see there's a nice texture throughout the entire front of the box. This is, as I said, pretty much identical to the other Rangers. Of course, an Ace Toys logo, and then that info carries on to the side. Nothing on the back. Now, let's get this guy out here. As I said, I have been so very excited to receive this figure. I've literally been counting down the days and finally he is here. Wow, this guy looks totally awesome. He is so darn vibrant. That shield looks amazing and so too does the vibrancy of the green on the outfit. And don't worry, you will be seeing all of the Rangers assembled up with, of course, some very suitable Power Rangers music in the background. Either way, as you can see, he comes with his dragon dagger and, of course, the Sword of Darkness as well as a couple of hands. Either way, what we're going to do now is get all of the accessories laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. And here you can see all of the bits and pieces that come with Tommy Oliver, aka the Green Ranger. Now let's take a look at the Sword of Darkness first. As you can see, it's painted very nicely, just a clean silver, and the detailing is really nicely dry brushed over the top of that black section. Now you do have a jewel on there. It isn't unfortunately an actual jewel. It's just a red painted piece, which I'm totally fine with. One piece, however, that I'm not totally fine with is the fact that there is no tassel hanging off the end. That is a pretty iconic part of this blade and unfortunately Ace Toys missed it. You can sort of add that in yourself if you'd like to go that far, but for me personally this will work perfectly fine. Now of course he does come with his dragon dagger painted and sculpted really nicely. You can see it does have those little bits and pieces so you can actually act like he's playing the flute and it is as I said painted, sculpted, detailed really darn well. I do especially like the detail on the top there. This is a relatively small piece and for some Something so small, the paintwork is very darn clean. Now, one thing that this guy does come with over the other ranges is this additional hand, of course, to play his dragon dagger as a flute. And also, a couple of people mentioned in the comments that yes, the hands should be dirty. A lot of times in the original Japanese footage, the actual gloves weren't pristine. In fact, the entire outfits weren't pristine at all. So this is very, very accurate. Now, unfortunately, again, this guy doesn't come with a display base. A huge missed opportunity, in my opinion. But I'm not going to be complaining because. Of course, these are some of the first 1-6 scale Power Rangers figures, and they are, of course, based off Mighty Morphin, my personal favourite line of Power Rangers. And here we have the Green Ranger himself standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy posing or accessories or anything like that. And let me just say, I am over the moon with how good this guy looks. He is totally awesome. This perfectly captures the look of the Green Ranger. I know there are a couple of inconsistencies here and there, and yes, we will touch on them in just a second, but just standing there... As I said, he perfectly captures the look. If you close your eyes, just do it for a second, and imagine the Green Ranger, then open them. Is this not the image you saw? It looks totally awesome. Having it in one six scale and putting it alongside the other Rangers is my childhood complete. I really do wish that Ace Toys would continue this line, do some putties, do Rita Repulsa, Goldar, keep this line going because it really could be an evergreen line for them. There are so many characters they can do, not to mention so many different versions of Power Rangers that I'm looking forward to seeing. Not just, of course, Mighty Morphin, but Zeo and Turbo and all the rest. I am super excited to see what an Ace Toys Power Rangers collection would look like. Either way, what we're going to do now is get the Green Ranger off the rotating turntable, punch in and take a closer look at the details. And here we have the Green Ranger himself up close and personal. And let me just say, he looks just as good as I was hoping he would. He looks totally awesome. This has to be my favorite Ace Toys Power Ranger figure to date. But then again, I was totally biased from the beginning. He was already going to be my favorite. Now, I do have the White Ranger on the way, so who knows? That could very well change in the future. Either way, taking a look at the 
the helmet itself, as you can see it's a pretty faithful recreation. A couple of people have complained that the clips aren't on the sides. This is technically meant to represent the Japanese version of the helmet, not the US one with the clips on the side. It looks pretty clean, it's not as glossy as I would like. Now a gentleman on Facebook did use some Meguiar's car polish to polish up the helmets. No additional paint or anything required, he just polished it up with a car style polish and it came up really nicely. I apologize for not remembering your name sir, but if you do watch the video do let me know down in the comments that it was you who said that. I actually might be trying that on my Rangers figures, but as you can see the visor is painted a really nice glossy black and of course the jewel is picked out very nicely in red. Now I'm tempted to do a custom, get a second one of these and do a custom to have the fighting spirit version of the Green Ranger with the silver along the top there. That might be a nice second Green Ranger to have in the display, but as you can see the dragon shield is on there really nicely. It's painted well as well. It is a little bit large, but I think that's quite accurate to how it appeared in the Japanese continuity. It looked a little bit smaller and a little bit more poofy in terms of the actual shape of it for the US version, so I think this is quite accurate. Yes, it's a little bit big, but I think it works perfectly fine. Same thing with the armbands, they're on there really nicely, and I do appreciate the way they're all painted in a nice uniform version of a gold sort of style paint. It's not chromey, it's just gold, and it works perfect in my opinion. Now as you can see, the Morpher is on the front. It does say Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it isn't gold. I would have been crucified in the comments if I didn't mention that. This Morpher is supposed to be gold. Unfortunately, it isn't. I'll probably go in with a bit of gold paint and see if I can rectify that, but I'm not going to be losing any sleep. That is a pretty easy thing to fix. And of course, you can see the Dragon Dagger slots perfectly in that holster on the side there. In fact, the overall figure looks so darn clean. I love the way this Green Ranger looks. Now, panning the camera down to give you a closer look at the rest of the outfit on Green Ranger. As you can see, of course, the green spandex carries on throughout. He has that exact same padding over the knees just like the other rangers. Now you do have to be careful when you're handling this spandex. As you can see I'm getting a couple of loose threads here and there. If you want to rectify this issue you can snip them with extremely sharp material scissors so you're not of course pulling them and making them any worse. But as you can see they are here and there throughout the entire outfit. And that's just something that has to do with the nature of this material. The exact same thing happened with the 66 Batman from Hot Toys. Just be very careful when you're handling him. Now of course he does have the different boot style pieces as opposed to the other ranges. There's a nice gold trim around the top. They're a little bit bulkier as well which makes him look a little bit stronger, a little bit more muscular which of course Jason David Frank was a little bit bigger if we're saying that it was him wearing this outfit for this particular figure. But as you can see the boots are painted nicely. There's a really nice wash over the top. Just like I said with the gloves in the accessory segment, the boots were never clean. So this is perfectly accurate to the show itself. It looks totally awesome. Now just quickly going over articulation on the Green Ranger. If you've caught any of the previous Power Ranger videos, you would already have an idea of how this figure can move. Now, I'm going to be by no means pushing these joints to the absolute limit. I'm going to be a little bit careful with my figure because, of course, I don't want to damage it. I'm sure when you get yours in hand, you can push the joints a little bit further than I'm willing to go. Either way, starting off with the head itself, it is on a double joint. There's one at the top of the neck and there's one at the base as well. So you get a really decent range of motion out of the head itself. Now, of course, the shield will restrict the motion. That is a given. It's a big piece over the front of the actual arms there. And as you can see, they go out to about there before you start getting a little bit restricted by the outfit itself. And of course, you can go forward to about there before they start butting up to the shield. Now you do have these bands, but they shouldn't really hinder anything because the joint is actually underneath and you do have a nice double bend there. It does get a little bit hindered when these two parts actually do start colliding. Now you do actually have a swivel at the bicep and of course a traditional 1-6 scale joint at the hand. Now in terms of the torso itself, it bends, you get a little bit of rotation and of course a swivel at the waist. Now for the legs, they go forward to about there before you start getting a little bit of hindrance and out to about there. You can actually push it quite away but there is a little bit of padding, so just be careful not to crease or wrinkle or, of course, damage anything. Now, in terms of the knees themselves, they are double-jointed, fairly decent range of motion out of that, and, of course, a swivel at the upper thigh. Now, in terms of the actual feet themselves, they are a lot stiffer than the other ranges, which I do appreciate, but it's just on a traditional 1-6 scale joint for the ankle. Now, for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have the team finally all assembled and here they are they look totally awesome i just personally cannot wait to get that white ranger in here and complete the entire set but for now here they are let's hear that music play
just wrapping up on the Ace Toys Green Range. I have to say, when I went into these Power Ranger reviews initially, I thought, oh, how good could they be? A third party company I've never heard of. And thank goodness, Ace Toys have delivered. These figures are absolutely fantastic. The Green Ranger included. This has to be my favorite. As I said before in this video, I was already biased. I already love the Green Ranger. But no, he is really that darn good. If you were only getting one or two figures from this line, I would at least consider getting the Green Ranger and maybe the Red because those two personally for me are my all-time favorites. But of course, the best thing about the Power Rangers is everyone has their favorite Ranger. It is such a universally loved show among a bunch of different demographics and that's the best part as I said everyone has their favorite and there is always a figure for you no matter which ranger you do like now there will be a white ranger review coming up very soon and I cannot wait to get that figure if he's anywhere near as good as the other figures which of course he should be based on how good these guys are I cannot wait to get that guy in hand now also check out the link to six scale network the brand new awesome Facebook group come along chat figures share photos of your collection and of course see what's coming up next on the the channel. Also check out our brand new second channel, Justin and Steph, for behind the scenes content and a hell of a lot more good stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.